Ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen and ladies, ladies and gents, as we stated, on this channel, we're only giving updates as to the different organizations, SACOM, AmeriLegion, SAA, Securities Acquisition Trust Commission, or Securities Investment Trust Commission, excuse me, Arbitration Association, and the different SAP packs that are offered by those organizations and soon to be information from the TTOPP organization. Ladies and gentlemen, I do want to let you know that we have some information for those of you who are SAP packers and for the defrauded homeowners of America. Many of you defrauded homeowners of America individuals, those whom I personally handled your mortgage, you were part of the mortgage group back in 2012. As I stated, you have not been forgotten you will not be forgotten each one of you and if you are one of those who was part of that group I need you to email me at the email link underneath this video they will go with the Eon v3 email link that will be the easiest one and let remind me because I don't have all of your email addresses so I do have your names just not all of your email addresses so Go ahead, send me a reminder, and I'll get in touch with you so that we can get this documentation out to you. So you'll have to send your current address and your email address so that we can get this documentation out to you. That's the first thing. The second thing, many of you SAP packers, you've started receiving your tax documents. We have never, we will not, and are not required to tell you how to handle your property. We only promise to supply certain things to you. Remember, all of these things were, as we stated on the website, supplied at no additional cost, and they were added features. You receive those added features. You've had years to do the research as to those added features. It was not our job to do the research for us, uh, for you, and we also explained that, and we were very clear from the very beginning, that you are not paying us enough to do the work for you, to do the research for you, to, by the way, to violate the law and tell you how to do everything. You're not paying us enough for that. So we are sorry to many of you that you're feeling disappointed because you don't know what to do next. Again, we've explained as a matter of fact, I know that I've explained exactly what people should be doing. There are way too many videos out there telling you what you should do. Are you giving legal advice? Yes, I am. I'm telling you to do your own homework and research because ignorance of law is inexcusable until you can rebut that stupid presumption. All right. Let's give you guys some information I think would be helpful. Would you like to get that information? I have to put you on pause for a second. One second, ladies and gentlemen. As I get rid of all of these pop-up. I just had to open up a browser for you guys. We're going to do a Google search. We're going to type in how to P-O-S-I-T A T-R-U-S-T in probate. Ladies and gentlemen, we're just going to do it. We're going to do it for just probate court. We're not going to do it for California. Don't worry about these attorneys. If you do a search, the first thing that's going to come up is advertisement. Why would you do that? So, ladies and gentlemen, take your trust. Do me a favor. I need you all to pay attention. Take your trust and file it into probate. Do it as a living trust, a living will. Now, those of you who have the original SAP packs, you will notice, unlike the SAP packs that we put online for free for everybody, yours has a will. It says that it is a will. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, filing your will in probate, filing your will into the court, as we told you, some people have mistakenly filed their will into the court and they've gotten their cases dismissed. Why? Because you've just proved by having a living will and a living trust, 
pay attention, living will, living trust, that you're not dead. A decedent can't file a will. Hold on now. A decedent can't file a will. You do not file the actual will or the actual trust in the court. I'm sorry, could you say that again? I didn't hear. You do not file the actual will or the actual trust into any court. If your trust agreement or your SAT pack included a declaration of trust, then you take the declaration of trust portion, transfer it to a different document, go online. It is simple. Download declaration of trust template. Take that information, put it in the declaration of trust template, get rid of the junk that don't matter, and file the declaration of trust, the certificate of trust, into the record. Now, technically, you don't have to file a certificate of trust because they're going to give you a certifying document from the court. Just have to follow the rules, ladies and gentlemen. Follow their rules. Don't follow my rules. Do not follow my rules. Follow their rules. So look, this is California. Notice of deposit. Notice of deposit. Excuse me. Notice of depo deposit. What the? Wait a minute. Notice of deposit. Ladies and gentlemen, you are doing a deposit into the court. Okay, and it says doesn't include the will or the trust. But you're not a, pay attention, you're not a deceased person. You're following a living will. Living. I'm living. I'm alive. I'm a real boy. Okay, you're following a living will, a living trust into the record. You can call it that. You're still alive. Remember, your trust doesn't go into effect until the date of your demise. You're no longer being here. There it is. Ooh. Notice of deposit of a state planning document. And you want to edit this because we want to get, and this is probate code. Okay? A state planning document listed below are, yeah, whatever, deposit. Ladies and gentlemen, once you take care of all this, I need you to follow me, please. Once you take care of all of this following and you finally get it processed in the court and you're not doing... Um, we're not doing any of this right here. State bar and all that stuff, we're not doing any of that junk. You're just going to complete it to the best of your knowledge, and you're going to follow it with the court. Don't add all that other junk, ladies and gentlemen. It's not necessary. Okay? All of the courts operate as probate courts. That's why this is just a regular superior court. This is for Los Angeles County, but every county has theirs. Now, of course, I'm downloading this because I can edit this for myself. You can create your own court filing. Look, we have some information coming to you guys very soon. Just give me one second. Let me do this right here. I got to copy this. And then I got to do this. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm finally able to catch up some, to some things because... There are no more sat packs. There will never be any more sat packs being produced or introduced into society forever. So, those of you who have sat packs, you must understand what you have. You have one of a kind documents that will never be produced again. I, I don't care if anybody else was to try to produce, remember, it's trademarked on purpose. So, if anybody was to even try to produce it again, they would fall on stupidity because it doesn't work that way. Uh, county of and we're gonna take this and we're gonna just get rid of that and then we're gonna put that back where it belongs. <sighs> okay just that simple now we are I don't like submit it y'all know that Okay, presented for deposit works for me. Okay. 
you can be the attorney in fact here's what most people don't know most people don't know and I'm, I'm sorry y'all don't know this that the right to practice law everybody has the right to practice law what are you talking about it's real simple ladies and gentlemen you have the right to practice law because every power of attorney comes from a person Every power of attorney, the power comes from you. It doesn't come from them. Okay? The power comes from you. You are the attorney. It is your power. You don't need to be licensed. Now, they call it the practice of law. Well, I'm not practicing. I know what I'm doing. The rest of y'all can practice. You feel me? So eventually one day y'all gonna understand the technicalities. Because they know you guys don't understand. That's why they get to say stupid things like that. As of this date, the depositor has not claimed the documents. It is requested the clerk of Superior Court accept these documents for deposit at a fee of $20 per document. Number of documents total. I acknowledge that I am. Hold on. Not required pursuant to the probate code to mail notice of transfer to the state bar. Just that simple. Okay, just that simple. And Sherry, this whole, I mean, this prostitute, I mean, this, I mean, this creature right here. She is, she's nobody worthwhile. Yes, I've had many, many encounters with this. Whole, I mean, this, I mean, this, you know what I'm trying to say. All right. So that's what I would do. That's why I use PDF Exchange. Wondershare PDF Elements also will let you edit documents just like this. Okay. Estate planning documents. So let's do this. Uh oh, I gotta see to undo that. I just have to do undo and get back to double clicking, and that should do. See, an acknowledgement. Interesting, ain't it? So let's do something. Of acceptance and acknowledgement. Now, technically, I can just do this and create my own. This is my caption. This doesn't belong to the court. I don't care if they claim this is their approved form. I'll show you guys in a minute what you must do. You must do it every time you present a document to the court. Watch this. Typewriter! And bold. The bold, the black, and the beautiful. A M E N D E D. Uh oh, I got all caps. Amended format. Let's get rid of that, that P out of format. Okay. Amended format or amended form. Ladies and gentlemen, you have to do it in all documents that you file with the court. Okay, that's just, it's just the way it is. Now, what you do, see this thing talks about probate code. I get rid of the subsection. Uh-oh, got to get rid of the typewriter. But I get rid of the subsection. We're just going to do probate code. This is my document. It's going to say what I want it to say. And this thing right here being 9, we're going to go 8. Uh oh, I said eight, not not zero. Oh, it doesn't like it. Oh, look at that. It doesn't want eight. Zero eight. And I don't know why it always does this. Changes the font. Okay, so zero eight slash twenty-two. 
it always changes the font don't know why it's a formatting thing and I ain't got time for the stupidity alright so now I just created this document which will still have this in it when I get finished being able to click on the date it'll still be a fillable document all of these hold on let's show you this way all of these things will still be in place they will not be moved and they will be where they need to be really just that simple that's why you do it this way okay all right ladies and gentlemen there are some other edits I could do to this document but this is what I want the document to be for me this is my document I created it not the clerk of the court they did not create it okay and don't mind leaving everything else the same but this is just you doing a notice of filing in the probate court just that simple so here is the document and see I am um, got to get rid of this because it ain't supposed to be nobody's planning I'm, I don't know why y'all planning stuff that's like plotting so we do what we did before of acceptance documents of acknowledgement and acceptance okay there you go that's your document and for me this is my document and what I do I leave that code there because that code doesn't hurt but the the code doesn't give me authorization ladies and gentlemen I give myself authorization this is my estate doesn't belong to anybody else but me okay let me because I'm doing what I'm doing nah let's do that and there you go everything but it's not going to see the box let me show you the box this is the other thing see this box right here I have to click on it because I just made that line bigger and I have to do that a lot of people would forget little small things like that but I don't forget I'm like an elephant I am nobody's faithful 800,000 percent okay just what an elephant ain't all right ladies and gentlemen those of you who received the documents I'm gonna tell you the next thing that you will be able to do once you get this completed once you have these documents filed properly in the court under estates wills or trusts you have those three things you will be able to do estates wills and trusts just keep that in mind estates wills and trusts sorry got one more thing I have to correct see this box right here I just moved it and so I gotta bring it over here so it fits the whole thing and let's see we're gonna shorten you about the same length as that and then there you go it, I even took it too far oh because I know why hold on yeah we can do that right there and that takes care of that these are the edits that you have to do sorry I'm a document creator all right uh, and there's that estate planning thing and you see how they make it to where you have to deposit something with an attorney who said okay don't care about him you don't have to fill this section out this section is not for you okay you need to look at the code there is an exception to estate planning documents being deposited with an attorney let you don't believe me let me show you hold on one second don't want to keep you guys on hold ladies and gentlemen I just realized something here's the thing 
uh, this is a document. This is on personal vanguard, personal dot vanguard dot com forward slash PDF forward slash A as an apple lowercase one two nine dot PDF question mark two two one zero zero eight zero one four two looking at this document I want y'all to pay attention it tells you what documents you will need one you will need a will you know what I had a friend named will yeah, oh man he, he was a, he was the last one he did and, and oh he gave testimony all the time okay so you need a last will it's oftentimes called a last will and testament okay now how does a trust play a role T pay attention pay attention this is what you need people but hold on wait y'all need to understand something I told you it's not our job to do this research for you now eventually we'll create a folder for those of you who will need stuff like this but what you need to understand that there's always an exception the reason why they want you to use an attorney okay let's do this see exception to estate planning documents being filed watch this estate planning being filed with out now if you notice all of these sites are going to talk about having an attorney okay so give yourself the power of attorney okay what are the four documents that must be filed ladies and gentlemen there are five documents as you can see the will irrevocable trust the financial power of attorney the durable power of attorney for health care you don't need a, a durable power of attorney for health care the living will last will and testament the living will that's the one thing they added living trust living will ladies and gentlemen you guys you must understand there are people out there producing these documents for people all the time however you must find the exception to the attorney okay just that simple see go to attorneys and lawyers page to the California State Bar website okay why do you need an attorney to do a will there are a lot of people who write their wills without an attorney sorry it's just the way it is you don't need an attorney to write a trust so there is an exception you need to follow the except find the exception now what I'm trying to tell you guys is there's always an exception to every rule always so I'll do you the best favor in the world so that you'll understand and you'll get it those of you who have that information go ahead and give it to me I'll pass it on to everybody else because like I said it ain't my job to do that research for you guys I already know the exception okay my only problem is ladies and gentlemen I've been doing all of this for you guys for the last several years that I haven't taken care of my own self okay how to file this essential estate planning document without a lawyer how to file a will without a lawyer again ladies and gentlemen it's not my job to do the job for you but I'm giving you the information this website is called trustandwill.com man I met trust and I, man I couldn't stand will I told y'all oh look at this ready to start your will base estate plan ah and I guarantee you that's gonna be a really interesting cost but you guys putting together a will is not difficult you just take your what you call it uh, your sat pack and make it a will make it a will and living trust and you just create the declaration page explaining that that's what it is okay we'll show you how to file a will without a lawyer so that you can protect your assets and thus your loved ones once and for all are online wills legal how to file a will without a lawyer create your online will ah ladies and gentlemen create a list of assets this is ready to start your will-based planning 
but this is supposed to how to file below you will find general step-by-step -step guide on how to file without an attorney although the steps may vary slightly depending on the service provider the basic concept of a will are the same regardless of whether online or through traditional attorney by preparing in advance you will save yourself time and trouble when you go to make your will online you won't have to scramble for information that is being prompted so are wills filed online interesting huh but you need to file your will so this is one site trying to tell you how to do it ladies and gentlemen I have several people who have already filed their wills and their trusts with the probate court and those of you who are sat pack omegas you have that notarized document showing that you are alive definitely file that as well you need to be able to show that you are alive because a dead person can't file now look I want to let you guys know we could have created this as a program within the organization but that's we're not here to nickel and dime you and pimp you for everything the information is out there this is not the X-Files but the information is out there and I'm telling you guys, many of you who hate Google, you got it all backwards. Yes, yes, Google does a lot of tracking. Yes, yes, Google sells your information. Yes, yes, Google is uh, the devil incarnate. Okay, I, I agree with all of that. I agree. Let Google take me to court for saying how stupid it is. You can't ruin their reputation because it's well documented whom they is. So... Uh oh, they're gonna do you like they did Alex Jones. Let them do. I guarantee you, let them try to do me like they did Alex Jones. I guarantee ain't nobody gonna be sitting up there sending over somebody's phone records because I'll give them every single record and dare them. I don't have a problem because I ain't hiring nobody's stupid attorney to be stupid because he's an officer of the court playing those little stupid games. And I'm not like Alex Jones. I'm not going to sit up there and play both sides of the fence. Make you guys think I'm on your side. Make you think I really have to file bankruptcy. Make you think that I really don't have somebody backing me. Yes, 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 they abandoned him, but he ain't out there by himself. Alex Jones has done too many shysty things to make me think that, yeah, he's hurting. Yeah, right. All right, ladies and gentlemen, as I said, we are not trying to pimp you. Everybody, we were accused of going into people's accounts. Go ahead. Go look at some of the comments. We were accused of going into people's accounts, tapping into their trust, tapping into their estates, taking their money, not giving them what we promised. Go ahead. Now, look, many of you haven't received your documents. Just be patient. They're on their way. The check's in the mail! No, the check's not in the mail. They're being processed. We just had to make sure we dotted our T's and I's, okay? Just, it really is that simple. We had to make sure we gave you what we promised. All right? We've had a lot of people causing us a lot of stress because they're going through whatever they're going through. They want us to stress with them. Ladies and gentlemen, I am not here to stress with you. If you want somebody to stress with you, go call your mama. My mama dead, mother... Then you need to be calling somebody else's mama. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen... We're not here for that. We were only facilitators helping you to put together what you need to gain control of your securities. Have I not just told you how to complete the process? Oh, no, you didn't. You didn't tell us. Oh, no, I'm sorry. Once you get these documents filed with the court and you get that final thing from the judge, then take it and file it in your bank account. The trust account that we've been telling you to assess with the bank the non-interest bearing trust account that we have given you the EIN number and told you to go and get it set up with your declarations page and your certificate yes 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 we've given you that information you deposit it into that account and you get an advanced line of credit why because the court will give you a certificate of deposit does anybody know what a certificate of deposit well that will be what we will talk about in our next installment but here is your update, Sat Packers.
Gotta go. Y'all take care, okay?